This is Natalia from the IntelliCAD Technology Consortium, and I'm thrilled to walk you through IntelliCAD 13.0, a release packed with powerful new features and enhancements that are set to elevate your CAD experience. Let's start with one of the standout features, the upgraded data extraction functionality. In IntelliCAD 12.0, we introduced the ability to create reports from any file supported by ODS Common Data Access. With IntelliCAD 13.0, we've taken this even further. Now you can generate detailed reports, not just for DWG files, but also for DGN, IFC, and RVT RFA files in versions of IntelliCAD that support BIM. We've also added support for AC objects, attributes, and advanced blocks, making data extraction more versatile than ever. I have two floor plans in two different drawings, and I want to create door and window schedules for all doors and windows for both plans in one report. Let's start with windows. Call for the data extraction dialog, name a new report template, from the list of architecture object types, select Windows. At the Select Properties page, I pick the necessary properties using the context menu to control selection. Please note that the same context menu is available for the Category Filter Group box. At the Refine Data page, I can sort columns using the new Count column. And at the end, I insert my report. Now, I want to add window information from the second floor plan. So I call the data extraction command, select the reuse existing report template, select the template I created previously, add a drawing file with a second floor plan. And now I have a report for both drawings. Let's create a similar report for doors. Now I have a door schedule template and I will use it for the second drawing. This feature is extremely helpful when you are working on a big project that includes more than 20 drawings and you can get all the reports using one template. Now, in my report, I have cabinet doors and I want to exclude them from it. So, to fix this, I call the data extraction command, select the edit existing report template radio button, select door schedule data extraction file, At the Refine Data page, I can use the Filter column option for the Height column, and the resulting table will exclude cabinet doors. Now I want to walk through data extraction for IntelliCAD versions that support working with BIM files. I have this IFC file inserted, calling data extraction, at the Define Data Source in the File Type settings, we have three new tabs for DGN, IFC, and RBT RFA files. And at the Select Entities page, you can see the list of IFC components. I select Window, the Necessary Properties at the Select Properties page, and here is my report for the windows in the IFC file. I also want to mention other improvements in data extraction. Data extraction performance dramatically improved. Preview for DWG blocks was added at the Select Entity page. Also, support of advanced blocks and attributes. Next up is the new Quick Calculator functionality an indispensable tool that you will want to keep docked on your screen. It's available at the View ribbon tab or the Home ribbon tab. Quick Calculator can perform basic math, 
scientific and engineering calculations, and conversions between metric and imperial units. For example, I need to draw a line and I know the length in meters. So Quick Calculator can make the conversion for me and all I need to do is to use the paste value command. This option is also available at the Quick Calculator toolbar so you can paste any calculation result to the command line. Using buttons from this toolbar, you can calculate a distance between two points, find out the angle of a line defined by two points and a horizontal line, get coordinates of a point or coordinates of intersection of two lines defined by two points. Note that these lines don't have to exist. Quick Calculator also maintains history of what you have done and that gives you an opportunity to get back to your previous calculations and you can also clean it up if you don't need it anymore. Just one more note, if you prefer to write mathematical expressions at the command line, you can use the cal command. IntelliCAD 13.0 also enhances your printing capabilities especially when working with visual styles. Here, I have a drawing with several viewports and different visual styles. And I just want to demonstrate how IntelliCAD 13.0 supports print preview with visual styles. Print exactly what you see on screen, whether it's surface model or 3D solid. We've also introduced several new options for surface and 3D entity editing. Let's start with the projection commands, FlatShot and Solid Profile. FlatShot command creates a 2D projection of 3D solids and surfaces onto a plane parallel to the viewing plane. The result of this command is a block. In the Create Flat Shot dialog box, you can control where the projection will be created – as a new block, as a replacement of the existing block, or the block will be saved in an external file. You can also control color and line type for foreground and obscured lines. The Include Tangential Line option creates silhouette edges for curved entities. This solid profile command works only in the layout and creates a 2D profile of 3D solids in the layout viewport. After specifying the objects to be used as a basis for the profiles, you can choose whether or not to display hidden profile lines on a separate layer. Project profile lines onto a plane and delete tangential edges. The Surf Network command creates a surface between a network of curves in the U and V directions. Next is the Surf Offset command that creates a parallel surface at the specified distance from a surface origin. Surf Extend extends a surface to a specified distance. Surf Trim trims surfaces and regions where they meet edges of other entities like lines, arcs, circles, ellipses, 2D and 3D polylines, splines, and helixes. And the last new surface command is Surf Fillet, which creates a surface that fillets an area between two existing surfaces or regions. The newly created surface has a constant radius and is tangent to the original surface's origins. The new options dialog simplifies the user experience for those familiar with other CAD software. Let's review the updated options dialog. Files tab is the former path slash files tab and no changes were made there. Also, no changes were made for the Profiles and Clipboard tabs. Display tab doesn't change its title, but lots of content was moved or added like Display Resolution and Display Performance Group boxes. By the way, icons next to the settings indicate those settings are stored in the drawing file. The former General tab content is split between the Open and Safe, 
and the System tabs. Print and Publish tab contains all functionality from the old Printing tab plus new general print settings and specify print offset relative to group boxes. Drafting tab is an advanced version of the Snapping tab where new auto snap settings and the auto track settings group boxes and the tooltip appearance dialog were added. And auto snap marker and aperture sizes can be adjusted by new sliders. Selection cycling tab is gone, but the functionality is still available at the drawing settings dialog. User Preferences, 3D Modeling and Selection tabs contain some existing options, but mostly they are new. For those of you who prefer the original version of the Options dialog, please use the Options Classic command to work with the Options Classic dialog. Intellica 13.0 also introduces powerful new tools for working with custom shapes and line types. I have these chain links and I want to make a line type using these two shapes. First, I call for the make shape command, name shape file, enter shape name, resolution, base point, and entities to make a shape. Now I repeat it for the second shape. Load two SHX files, and insert both shapes using the shape command. So everything is ready to create a new line type using the make line type command. Name the new line type, specify start and end points for line type definition and select inserted shapes. Note that these entities could also be a line, polyline, point, or text. And now when I created a line type, I can draw a line, arc, or spline and change its line type to the newly created one. Let's move to beam special interest group functionality. New AC Dimension command creates AC dimensions of selected AC entities. You can use AC Dimension grips to move dimension chains, add or remove dimension points, change the offset of extension lines, text position, or override wall component dimensions. There are three default AC dimension styles available in Intellica 13.0 that, in addition to overall wall length, measures dimension opening center, dimension opening edge, and dimension wall intersections. You can create your own AC dimension style in the AC Styles Manager. And speaking of the AC Styles Manager, I can't help but mention additions here. Slabs Edge Style, Roof Slab Edge Styles, Roof Slab Styles, Space Style, Structural Member Style, AC Polygon Styles, List Definition, Mass Alum, def mass alum Styles, Material Definition, Multi-View Block Definition, and Profile Style. The RVT to IFC command converts a file from the RVT or RFA format to the IFC format. IFC validate command checks selected IFC file for errors. You can select the data access interface and industry foundation classes validations 
and press the Validate button. An ability to create railings that are attached to a selected stair component is available now. A new Layers tab was added to the Beam Properties pane where you can view IFC underlay content by layer, display entities with their assigned layer color, and change layer color. This tab is available only for IFC underlays. And the last addition I would like to mention for Beam versions is the ability to unload Beam underlays in the External References in Telecut Explorer pane. That's not all. IntelliCAD 13.0 is packed with additional enhancements that make your work faster, more efficient, and more enjoyable. Let's start with the Advanced Block. An ability to view Block Properties table outside the Block Editor was added. This viewer is accessible from the Properties pane or the Grip Context menu. The new Reset Block command reverses all changes made to Advanced Block References and set the default values of the block definition. Also, several system variables were added. BP Text Horizontal controls the orientation of text relative to dimension lines or block parameters. BGrip OBG Color controls the color of grips. B parameter color controls the color of parameters. B grip OBG size controls the size of parameter grips in pixels. B parameter size controls the size in pixels of text and controls. Please note that all changes for these system variables become visible after using the regen command. B action bar mode system variable specifies whether the action bars of the legacy action entities are displayed in the block editor. Legacy action entities display when set to 0, action bar displays when set to 1, and B action set and B lookup table commands are not available. And one more system variable. Grip in control controls the color of grips for advanced blocks that were created in a different application. A new option for drawing cones is available. If you want to draw a truncated cone, select the top radius option, then specify the top radius and the height of the cone. Geolocation functionality has the load address option in IntelliCAD 13.0. ICO icons are supported in the Customize User Interface dialog. New selection effect width system variable controls the line width used for the glowing highlight effect when the selection effect or pre-selection effect system variable is set to 1. Also, DWFX digital signature support is available now. This is all I have for now. Please leave your comments. And thank you for watching this video.